hi guys it's that time of week again where there's another weekend vlog and as you can probably tell we're at goodwill again i just dropped off my packages from the live marathon last weekend and then what is it what else my live yesterday because i sent out actually sent out totals yesterday last night so i just did that about to go hop into goodwill really quickly to see what they have i really don't find anything here that much so probably won't be here that long but and then i have to go home and get ready because i have to go to a birthday dinner for my stepdad's dad which is my friend paul so yeah there's that so let's go into goodwill really quickly and see if we find anything okay we are back in the car and i only found two things but i'll show y'all when i get home because it's fucking hot in this car so yeah okay i am home now and i'm about to get ready i just logged back onto my computer for a computer to see if there was any emails there was so i did that but i'm about to get ready but really quickly i want to show you all my little cuter shirt that i got from my friend yoli off of instagram super cute um i'm using my phone still because my camera's in my room that i just left so yeah about to get ready and then leave again <laughs> okay back in my car my sister called me while I was getting ready, so all ready to go in my dress that I got from Target like two weekends ago now. So yeah, well, let's go and drive. Hi y'all, it is um, Saturday morning and I'm already at, I woke up early. It's 8.30 now. I woke up at like 7.45 to get to an estate, so it starts at 9. So I'm waiting in my car but people are already in line and they're in front of me so I don't want them to see me talking to my phone so I'm acting like I'm like on a phone call or something I don't know but I was going to show y'all while I was waiting the stuff that I got from Goodwill yesterday but because I ended up going to the one by my house but that would definitely be really awkward so I'm not going to do that until later on but last night was good. We went to dinner. Dinner took forever, by the way. Oh my goodness gracious. I th swear we were there for like two hours before our dinner came out, but it was still good. I got a blueberry lemon drop. Oh my God, that was so good too. Um, so yeah, woke up early. Actually woke up, actually got up. So this is, I found this estate sale yesterday and it starts at nine. And the other one that I'm going to. Alright, my car decided to be rude and stop recording. I don't even remember what I was saying. The other one starts at 11, so I can't do this one first. Got up early to come to it. I still have like 20 more minutes until I open And people are like sitting out there. Another person got out of the car. But they actually work here. Or running the estate sale. So, that's good. But... Like, why are you trying to sit outside? Like, I'll go out there. Like, when there's 10 more minutes to wait. So, we're just gonna sit here and chill out, I guess, for 20 more minutes. Eat my breakfast bar that I brought with me, because I'm kind of hungry. And yeah. Let's get this early day started. <music> So, at the second estate sale now, I picked up some Chick-fil-A breakfast. Oh, God. Y'all, that first estate sale I went to, it was something else. I mean, I found two things, but I don't even think it's because they're, like, privately owned or, like, a private listed estate sale. But they were cash only and, like... 
Sometimes when they mean cash only, they mean like cash or you can use Zelle or like Venmo. No, this one was strictly cash, just cash. I'm like, okay. And my plan was to go get money if I found something. Y'all, let me tell y'all, they got crazy. One lady, I asked her and I was like, with the saying cash, like, does that mean I can use Zelle too? And she's like, no, but you can, like, we can put it on hold and, like, go, you can go get cash. I'm like, okay. So then when I said I was ready to check out, I was like, I'm ready to check out, but I don't have cash and I need to go get some. And <laughs> she got a little crazy, but then she was like, uh, I guess the person who's actually, like, running it, I guess, like, the top person was like, I told them when they came in the door that it was cash only and I'm like okay dude like no need so I go get cash I didn't I decided to walk since it was like five minutes because I wasn't about to move my car and I get back and I had to wait in line just to get back in to pay for my stuff they're crazy I was like okay lesson learned make sure I have cash when I go to estate sales, because what the fuck? Like, what the hell? Crazy motherfuckers. But, I still have 30 more minutes until this estate sale opens. It starts at 11. So I stopped and got some Chick fil A chicken minis. So. I am about to eat that and turn my AC back on because it's fucking hot outside and I'm sitting right in the sun so that's great for me but I did find two house dresses so I'm pretty excited for that one of the items that I was mainly coming for was already gone but I'm pretty sure that it was fucking overpriced as hell because everything was overpriced as hell because they knew all the clothes was vintage like literally they had silk button up long sleeve tops as $25 and not all silk looking tops are silk like half of them were probably fucking polyester so and then they had another like there was one of the dresses that I was looking at and it literally had stains all over it like all over it there was stains i should have found a picture of it and they were asking 45 dollars for a dress that had stains fucking all over it i'm like y'all are crazy it's like what the fuck but tip of the day bring cash to estate sales two i don't know three i'm gonna go eat my breakfast now <laughs> All right, guys, I am finally home. I mean, I've been home. I'm out of breath now. But I came home, me and Dre went to Home Depot because I wanted to get some stuff from Home Depot for, well, I got some gardening tools and then I got stuff to fix our fence so that HOA will leave us alone, hopefully. And then we got some holders for our water hose and yada 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 and then we went to Hobby Lobby because I needed to get some elastic if I'm going to try and make a two-piece set out of a little nightgown so I wanted to do that and then I need scissors and I found left-handed scissors I was so excited about that and Trey made fun of me for it but whatever okay I'm going to show y'all what I got from Goodwill, the Goodwills yesterday, and what I got from the estate sales. And in an hour, because it's 4.30, in an hour I have a Zoom meeting with somebody from Whatnot, because I finally finished my application and got approved, so I had to do a Zoom meeting before I can start my own show. Do my own show. But first things first is, I found this hoodie that is missing its drawstring. No, my battery's about to die, but it has this like little print on it, super cute, and there's a big ass stain on the back. Oh my god, 
I also found this little like bustier, like um, whatever you want to call it, corset vibes. Super cute. I finally used my freaking fracking camera and it's about to die. So we're gonna switch to my phone. Okay, I am sorry that it's worse quality. Hopefully it's not that bad, but continuing with the haul. Um, I found this cute little like um, cardigan, but it has a built-in collar in it. Super cute. Okay. Um, it's kind of nice that they let you keep the hangers sometimes because free hangers are so are nice. Found this little <gasps> cute little nightgown. I guess it still has its like tag on it. I guess, but cute. Okay. This is from most, what I'm showing you right now is from the first second estate sale that I went to. Then I found this like vest. Cute. Oh my god. It's discolored. Alright, we'll see what happens. Um, I found this like corduroy. I'm just gonna take everything off hangers because it needs to be washed. So I'm gonna wash it. This corduroy skirt, floral skirt, super cute. Okay, um, I found this hoodie or crew neck. It's from somewhere in Colorado, Keystone, Keystone. But I'll probably keep this for myself. It's still really soft, cute. Okay, um, I found this like funky top long sleeve that has like different colorful hearts on it cute still has the original tag on it um i found this cute little dress i'm gonna see if it fits me first before i sell it it's just like a basic dress and it flows out cute um i found that this cardigan and this is like the most expensive thing but it's really cute though i'm hoping it's tied to large but i think it can fit larger and i'm just gonna message my friend about it because she was asking us to find her um a black all black cardigan um i found this like red jacket cute I just love the funky design on it. This, I'm debating on keeping for myself because it looks so comfy. So soft, it's like a little like nightgown. And then like, these like are really cute. The hangers, I don't know why I think the hangers are so cute, but they are. Um, I found this dress has its little collar built in on it. But it's just like a dress. Very flowy. And then I guess you could tie this into like a pissy bow and then it comes with a belt. Looks like this has never been worn before. Oh, this is another dress that I wanna try on. This really cute like purple dress has some very puffy sleeves and it flows out. This looks like it was handmade because it literally has no like tag in it whatsoever. And there's like, you can tell it's been handmade because like, it's like all raw. There's no lining in it. They didn't put a lining in it. Um, This cutie little cardigan, cute. And then, oh. That is everything from the second estate sale. And these two things are from the first estate sale. These are just like little house dresses. I really love the colors of this. And then this one has like embroidery flowers on it in a flower pot. I thought it was really cute. And then I found this one. That I think, obviously they're cute because I got it. Oh, it's not. But it's just like yellow with floral. Super adorable. Okay. 
So that's all the stuff that I got from the estate. So I accidentally brought in my rain jacket, not realizing it. Okay, so here's the stuff I got from Goodwill. I found this Fila tennis skirt for myself, all black, because I need a black one. Um, I found this like Y2K, um, early 2000 Old Navy dress. It's really perfect for the fall. And then I found this dress. I am so mad because I've been searching and searching for wedding, wedding guest dresses, right? And I found one at Marshall, Marshall's. That's that purple one that I found. And then one of my friends was doing a live on whatnot and everything. It's called, it's like an app where you can sell stuff. And I bought a dress from her and then I go to the thrift store the next day and I find this dress. Like, look at it. Look at all that beading. It is so cute. So I'm like, I'm so torn, like, if I should wear this one or not. I mean, I'm going to try both of them on and see which ones I like better. Oh, my freaking fracking receipts. Okay. And then the next thing I found, I found another corset. This time, this one is by um, Victoria's Secret. And this one's a 36C. And then it like zips. Uh oh. Oh, it does have the zipper. Whew. About to be scared. Okay, it zips up and everything. It is so cute. I left everything in my car because I was not about to take any fucking chances of Princess chewing this shit up. And then I found this like cute little. Y2K moment brown halter dress that I thought was really cute. And yeah, that is my little thrift haul. It is now 4.45. Um, I've started washing some clothes. I tried to, I vacuum a little bit, clean the dishes, because I don't need my mom to be like, oh my God, why is it so dirty? So. <laughs> And I meant to go to Wine and More to get us some wine, but I have two bottles of wine, so I think that should be good for the both of us. Hopefully. I hope so. So, yeah. But now I'm going to go ahead and take all the tags off and put this in a pile to be washed in my garage because there's a shit ton of stuff that needs to be washed. Oh, and I'm glad also happy because we have a three-day weekend so we're off on monday for labor day and yeah not much else is gonna is happening so i'll either see y'all later tonight or tomorrow okay hi guys so um i was just starting to get my stuff ready or for the my whatnot meeting zoom meeting um and i logged into the email in here because i'm not logged into it on my computer i just got an email from them saying they just rescheduled they canceled it <laughs> what the hell so i guess with that um i might just go ahead and go to um wine and more to go get me and my mom some more wine maybe <laughs> but now i need to reschedule it i was so prepared i was ready for it i was anxious and like kind of scared to do it but then one of my friends i went that i went live with last week she does whatnot and she was telling me that it's not scary like Everybody just has, like, their cameras off. Like, you just basically just have to, like, listen. And I'm like, okay, that makes me feel, like, a lot better. And they canceled it. I rescheduled it, and they canceled it. So, now I need to reschedule it again. <laughs> so annoying. But, okay. I guess 
we're gonna do it for next Saturday. And I can do it in the morning time, actually. Or should I do it for one? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's any estate sales happening. I probably won't be going to anything because I'll be going to my Nano Papa's house next weekend. So, okay. We'll do it for 11. I'm telling y'all, like, I can get um, feedback from y'all, but... Dang, I was like so ready, but it's okay. I guess it happens. Oh, all right. Jeez, so ready. Okay. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all know that they canceled it on me after I rescheduled it on them. But. <laughs> It's all right. Well, guys, <laughs> um, I just talked to my mom and she says she's tired and doesn't feel like coming over. And she also doesn't want to drive in the dark, which is understandable because she's fucking blind as a bat now. And But I'm going to see her on Monday, so that's okay. But now I don't know what to do. And now I don't really need to go to wine anymore to get some wine. But I am debating on going to Target because I wanted to go to Target yesterday, but didn't after the birthday dinner because I didn't go because it was already like 10 o'clock and they were already closed by the time I was driving home. And then I was going to go after the estate sales, but didn't. Um... Yeah. <laughs> so now I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But maybe I might go to Target, honestly. Alright, y'all have made the decision to not go to Target. Because I don't feel like driving or leaving the house again. So... I'm just going to stay home and do a shit ton of laundry loads because I have so much laundry that basically combines together from my laundry and the estate sale and like thrifting clothes that I got. Um, I don't know what to do now. Very bored. Okay, so y'all know that I was going to tell y'all what I was going to do. Well, I went to Target, so I want to show y'all some of the stuff I got. We're in the kitchen, so please bear with me. Sure, why not? Okay, I have some Halloween stuff that I found from the dollar section that I'm going to put in my um, goodie things, giveaway things for Halloween found these really cute little Halloween decor for my Halloween background. So I have a bat and a ghost. I also got some little like plaid pumpkins for when I do like Friendsgiving and I can put those out. So I got some small ones and some big ones. Um, oh, here's the little ghost also got some milk for Trey because he asked for it. So let me put that away. Then I also got some <laughs> almond milk because I'm almost out. And then I found, oh, we're gonna do a taste test of these. I found finally found the Nature Valley Savory bars that they came out with and i've been wanting to try them got the pillsbury cookies to bake and then oh, oh yeah we got some cheese because i was like oh yeah this is something else we need so i got some cheese and then Got Trey some Nature Valley granola bars. And then I found the pantsuit set, vest set. So this is the vest. 
I wanted it in black, but honestly, the gray or the brown looks pretty good on me. And then here's the pants. I kind of want to wear this tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. If I do, I need to take a shower. My hair is like so gross. Okay, but let's do a taste test of these. Oh, and then I got cat food, but it's by the front door. Okay. So I got the barbecue one. There was a white cheddar one, but there's another one. I don't remember the other flavor though. Okay. Let's do a taste test of these. They're probably gonna be fucking disgusting, but it smells like barbecue, obviously. Mm -mm. It tastes like a very healthy barbecue chip. Um, zero out of ten. My water's over there. Oh god. Zero out of ten. Nope. Uh uh. No. Not at all. Okay. No. <laughs> but yeah, that is my Target haul. Spent $200 because, well, it wasn't that bad. But then I added the cat food because the cat, I got some cat food for free. And I think the cats really liked it because they haven't really like, they still eat the food that I have. But I'm pretty sure they like the other one a lot better. And it's a little bit more pricier. But I feel like they like it a lot better. They've like been eating it. Like they have, like normally they finish their bowls. Let's put it that way. And they haven't been really finishing their bowls. So. I got the other one. But Target only had the 10 pound bag. And cat food's very expensive right now. And they're like $30 a bag. So hopefully I can find a bigger size bag and not have to pay a lot. So we'll see. But yeah, that's my haul. Oh, here are my um left-handed scissors. Let's see, it has a little like thumb grip thing holder. So you're it's supposed to like lay on your thumb so to make it feel better more comfy when you cut stuff but yeah that's my haul that was fucking disgusting i need to like eat something else to get it out of my mouth oh my god no not at all